We got the code. So I think we just go this way and then head up the stairs. I am assuming we can. It was a green circle that we could interact with. The green ones seem to be transitions, right? Blue ones are things that we can examine or otherwise interact with. Oh, I was going to look through the... Through the thing and see if our orange masked friend went into that room. Maybe it would be... Sometime after he leaves? I don't know. I have no idea. But also, we don't have a, th a thing for him. And the one on the right here looks like the wheelchair friend, so maybe it's the two together? That makes sense. Yeah, that's probably what's happening. So we're not going to have to save them for a long time. I'm assuming we go in order. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, and we picked up, we picked up Trinity Carrington's The Moth by Moonlight, her invitation. The blind artist Trinity Carrington is one of the most gifted sculptors in the world. The Marquis saw one of her statues while visiting a church with another of the guests in the mansion and tracked her down to create the carvings that decorate the sexy brutale. The elegance of her work is quite at odds with her wicked sense of humor and complete disregard for rules. She was caught cheating at cards using her extraordinary sense of touch and hearing. But this delicate situation introduced her to her future husband, head of security, Clay Rockridge. So she considered herself a winner regardless. Aww, what an adorable little story. And now we go up the stairs. Ooh, another card. All right, well, we kind of have a goal for the cards. Ten of diamonds. The cabinet is empty. The room gives you a strange feeling of deja vu. Or has that not happened yet? Um, there's a... Oh, and we're over here now. Well, it looks like we can't go south. We can? It was on... Oh, I guess the door just was weird. Oh. They're overlapping weirdly. So if we go west, maybe we can reach those two hallways. But they were... Um, this is the one above... The room where, oh geez, the room where the wheelchair guy was. Yeah, above that room, where they are right now. And then the lower balcony was above where we started. Okay, we can maybe reach those. Although I think there were like fiery doors on either side that we couldn't get into. That's fine. So what do we got here? Scorpion fish, a fierce beauty with striking colors. A single drop of his poison is used in the abyssal bite cocktail available in the casino bar. Ooh. Hey, Willow Blue, the flame in the dark. Oh, folks have talked about Miss Blue. And, oh, and there, that was a giant bell. Does she die right at seven? Does she have something to do with the bell, maybe? Yes, okay, all right, interesting. Dogfish, this sleek little shark was rescued from an unscrupulous restaurant. He has so far eaten a small fortune in exotic tank mates. Can't hear anything. That's cool. Transcendent angelfish. Cruel selective breeding has created this exquisite, exquisite angelfish variant. It has no mouth and must scream and exists only as decoration. All right, let's just kind of explore and get the lay of the land here a little bit. A rope connected to the bell is tied to the wall. Oh, I wonder if Willow Blue is going to try to ring the bell and get caught in the rope and hang herself or if the bell's gonna fall and take her over the edge or something it's a sheer drop down into the darkness and there's a um, thing we can hide in so we can watch okay what's in here Ooh, a clock lamprey also known as the bastard of the deep this highly unpleasant character is a reminder to us all that life is as ugly and draining as it is beautiful and noble. Um, I want to point out that Bastard of the Deep is in red, and normally red things are important, so that lamprey might be important. An ornate grandfather clock, it needs to be wound, so we can't actually use it until we wind it, so we got to find a key around here. Golden Koi! Ten generations of Koi have been fed on pure gold flakes to create this stunning creature with solid gold scales, donated by our friend Orum. 
Ooh, what is this? Hungry charm. A grim looking fetish. Its eyes are closed, but its mouth is open and hungry looking. Mm. Oh, there's the gunshot. Yep. No idea what to do with that. Um, the guy said, ah, oh, the handiwork of Ms. Willow or something. Was He just said, ah, oh, Willow's handiwork. I'd recognize it anywhere or something like that. I don't know. I don't remember. Anyway, I bet she has something to do with these skull candles, which are curiously cold. The chair looks very well used. There's some red hairs. I still want to know what that is. Oh, that one's driving me crazy. I want to know what the shattering glass is. The chair looks very well used. There's some red hairs on the backrest. A sense of peace and calm emanates from this corner of the room. I'm going to keep checking for sound periodically to see if we can find other people or anything going on around here. Because right now we don't know what's going on. Pom Pom Fish. This puffy black fish has long hair-like fins and looks like an indignant drowned rat. Lovely. Um, at 7, we should probably head back towards the bell room. And see if we can figure out what the deal is with Willow. Okay, so this connects for sure to the left on uh, to the balcony. Let's just pop out here real quick. Another one of those skull candles. They really are everywhere. Six of spades. No idea. There's another card there. Somebody of clubs. Okay. Oh, king of clubs. Because he's got the crown on the back. Ooh, you're maybe important. And we just don't know what you're doing. You, you did something, though. Oh, you're just out of line of sight. Oh, you did something and you're leaving. You just did something terrible for somebody in the future. and We don't know who or what. Uh, Alright, show will start in an hour, so we need to go find our way back to the bell room. And maybe just hide in the, uh, the closet there? We don't have the key yet, so we can't actually start here on the new day. So that is going to be a bit of a problem. I kind of want to keep exploring for the key, but I also want to see how Willow is dying. I'm assuming that you're already in there? Yeah, alright, well, we can look. Listen. Did you just tie the rope around your neck? Oh, it's not an accident at all. Oh, this is... That's way grimmer than what I was expecting. Okay, and there goes her mask burning off. All right. How do we get your invitation, then? Her body swings above the darkness. What is this? You left a thing here. Bone key. I don't... I don't know. A slender key made of bone. Eerily warm. Ew, that's terrible. Alright, well, there's a bunch of guest rooms, like, in, in the middle, right? And then there's whatever room up on the top, or rooms, plural? I don't know. Um, I guess we just explore. We got a key, we have a couple more hours. Oh, hello. There's a chalk sketch on the canvas. It has a different feel from all the other paintings in the room, like it was scribbled in a hurry or in a panic. The canvas has been blacked out. Looking very closely, it seems as though there's a painting of a couple smiling under the layers of thick black paint. A table filled with art supplies. All the tubes of fluorescent white seem to be missing. Small desk, presumably for writing or sketching. A painting of a skull? Or is there something deeper? Boy, she's really into skulls, isn't she? I'm assuming this is her room. Oh. A collection of canvases are stacked against the wall. They're all initialed E-B. Well, B is for blue. Willow is does not start with the letter E, so... Uh -huh. Bed has an extraordinary vision of gothic decadence. Looks like it has not been slept in for a long time. There's like a bone sculpture or something over there. Dangerous looking books fill the shelves. Nice, that's how I describe my own bookshelf at home. Dangerous, dangerous looking books. Uh, one appears to describe how to split and hide part of your soul through murder. Oh, that kind of dangerous. And that goes out in the other hallway, yeah. 
and like a sweet skull rug. I don't know, I dig her sense of style, I guess. I like the skulls, I like the gothic stylings. Potent smell of spices and musk emanating from the trunk. Desk is covered with macabre bone and skull designs. It appears to be locked tight. Ooh, bone key. Yes, we did a thing. Is it gonna matter though? We're very low on time. The desk contains some sort of recipe for something called the Hungry Charm. You've learned the recipe for the Hungry Charm. Check the map for details. Hungry Charm first meal. Oh, it's pointing to the lamprey. I'm like, yeah, that's the room we're in. No, no, no. Oh, Hungry Charm second meal. Are there more meals? Just those two? Huh. We do not have a lot of time left. I don't... Let's... Let's do the first meal. Yeah, somebody's getting electrocuted. Right? Like, we can all agree on that? Blood flows into the charm. It murmurs softly, asking for more. Oh, we have a fed hungry charm. A grim looking fetish. It glows, but still seems hungry. Okay, I'm assuming it'll be back to normal when we get out of here. Man, I want your invitation. You're still just hanging over the bell. That's so creepy. Um. Okay, let's see if we can go explore along the top here and just get like the full loop completed. And then we'll check out the last, it looks like two rooms again. Like the bottom two rooms and then probably the top two rooms. We'll check those out on the next day. I'm just accepting the fact that we're going to have to come back here. Unless we find the clock key, like, right now. Oh geez, there's a door going north too. There are too many doors. Okay, we have, <laughs> we'll have to come back. I just want to finish the loop. I want to get the, like, donut shape on our map. Okay, we did it. Oh, interesting. We can hide here, too. Fireplace. Carving of a moth on one side. Fire is roaring. This leads out onto the balcony. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. You say that as if anybody's still alive. Until tomorrow. Grab that. Mansion gardens stretch out into the distance. Yeah, and then there's a stained glass window there, which is not like broken or anything yet. There's another card. Oh, and there's a key in there. But we can't get in there because it's a fire door, so that must be for something later. I hope that's not the key we need. That'll be a hell of a puzzle. All right, here we go again. Ugh, we're down here. Okay, so in one of those rooms, I'm assuming and hoping. A little assumption, a little hope. That we can find the key to wind the clock. Okay. Get a moving. There is still that record there that we can take off the record player. So if you find another record player somewhere, we might want that. I have no idea. There's a lot going on in here. Now if we just rush here real quick. <gasps> it's the brass skull guy. I wonder if that's Lucas. I wonder if that's the marquee. That might be. We just keep barely catching little glimpses of him all over the place. Yeah, and then there's whatever that rattly sound was. We've heard that. No idea what it is. Also, no idea where, like, Willow actually is. I'm assuming she's, like, in this room here, maybe? No. I have no idea where she is. Big old fish playing card. The seating in this room has a very clear VIP feel to it. Oh, hey, 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 there's the key. Hell yeah, guest room's winding key. We did it. Spiky box with a big padlock. Nice. And a card. Gimme, gimme, gimme. And another fish. Devil monarch fish. A variant of the tiny devil's hole pupfish. 
One fish in approximately every hundredth generation develops into the stunning monarch mutation. We can interact with it. Oh, second meal for the charm. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Let's go wind the clock and hopefully not run into Willow. Although I kind of would like to know where she is and what she's doing as she's saying stuff. But let's, let's set this clock as our starting point first. That seems like the most obvious, important, immediate thing to do. We don't need to go open her desk again because we know the recipe for the hungry charm. We don't know why, but there we go. Bong. All right, there we go. We have a new home. Here amidst all the terrible, terrible evil fish and the really nice shiny golden koi. What a weird thing. Okay. Standard issue hungry charm. Ooh, okay, so there's some more rooms there in the middle. I'm assuming the one we haven't explored leads to the others. Have we been in this one? We have. Okay, and Willow is not in there. I don't know where she is. There's nobody in here either. It's also a distinct lack of getting into the other rooms, huh? There is makeup spread across the desk as well as pen and writing paper. Looks like the top sheet was torn off. Oh, there's somebody on the other side there. Swamp blood runs red something. She in... I have no idea what room she's in or how where she's getting out of there. What time is it? Four-ish? The darkness, but it's you. You're the poison that I... Something? I don't know. Man, the words go by so quick. Trying to read out loud. Okay, super quick. Here we go. Pet peeve about video games. When text is on the screen and then gone after a set period of time and I have no interaction, I can't choose like, yes, I'm done, move on or anything like that. That irritates me. Not so much in real life because if I'm not speaking out loud and trying to like enunciate and pronounce the words correctly and, and get the inflection right and stuff, then it's easy to just scan it with my brain right but when i have to like when i'm recording and stuff trying to trying to talk trying to stream trying to do videos let's plays whatever ugh, it just it, it irritates me i feel angry that i can't get all the things no no something gross just happened there was a sound did she just break the glass oh i bet she's one of the fish you are poison you are you How do we get in there to where you are? I I hear you. Is it telling her to go commit suicide? Do they have like a mind flare in there or something? How do I get into that room? More water sounds. Uh... gotta follow her we gotta figure it out yeah there's a door right behind that painting like absolutely it's kind of obvious now that i'm looking at it open the door what are you doing i know what you're about to do You're not talking. You're just standing there. Is that the hallway? Oh, no. She's in that room. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Okay. I missed her going through the door. Okay. Let's just restart. I don't... Yeah. Nope. Don't, don't want to watch that again. Okay. Grab the charm. 
figure all that crap out right away. Or spend the day trying to find her, following her around. I could go either way on this one. Someone stole my charm, but left the recipe here? Why? Is she in her bedroom? I need to warn Tequila, at least. Oh, the singer. I wonder if she's killed and then her body's dumped into the spider room. Oh, I bet Tequila's in the other room here. Tequila, please stay out of the room. Willow, sweetheart, I have to dash. He'll start without me otherwise. You don't have a comb that I could borrow, do you? <laughs> hey, keep your filthy hands to yourself. Oh, that's not very nice. What? No, I didn't me. Darling, you've been acting so weird all cooped up in that room, alone. I can hear you at night, you know. It's creepy is what it is. Creepy. Yeah, I think Tequila's body is dumped in the spider pit. Wait! Ah! Well, at least she'll be safe. I want to see what's going on. Missing charm worries me, but there's that recipe. I'm coming for you, you beasts. Oh man, I want to know what you just said. I'll stop you from spreading your poison. Now back to the tank. I think I dropped my invitation. Oh. Go, 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 go. Watch, 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 watch. Must watch. <laughs> it's a good thing you shared your secrets with me, Lucas. Secret passageway behind the painting. Hell yeah. Uh, hidden passage. There we go. Can we continue spying on her? I just want to, like, do this now. I love watching all these people. This is crazy. And then is she just in here for the rest of the day talking to whatever's in the tank? There's somebody else in there. <gasps> Look at that. Do you see those footprints to the north? Beast. Liar. I know what you are. Show your face. There was another set of footprints in there. Oh, wow. Enormous impossible chain suspend a glowing skull over the doorway. It radiates a sense of repulsion and dread. Swamp blood runs in these veins and I will end this. Can we look? Oh, we need the charm here. Got it. Okay. Um... All right, well, I think she's gonna die on this go around, but let's go feed the charm and get our way into that situation, I guess. I probably could've taken the other way around. It's fine, I guess. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. We're taking the long way. It's cool. Okay, so we need the charm to get into that skull room, maybe? I'm super curious to know what we're gonna find in there remember softly asking for more she dropped her invitation maybe that's lucky for us I guess okay blood flows into the charm and it whispers that it is ready a grim looking fetish it pulses in your hand it is ready okay all right all right I wonder if we need to, like, try to do this and get in there while she's in the other room talking to Trinity. Oh, what are you doing? Go this way. Because she comes back out that way, right? And into the clock room? Or the bell room? You know what I mean. We're just going to hang out and watch for a moment. I'm going to wait for her to go, you know, ring the bell. Path is so clear to me. Why would I resist? Why would anyone? I'm coming now. I'm coming and I've missed you all so much. Something like that. That seems terrible. 
somebody else coming into this room? I'm so confused. Yeah, no, she's just gonna hang herself. Okay, yeah, there's nobody else but her. Neat! Let's go deal with this mess. Door sealed by an enormous glowing skull. You cannot enter. Well, here's my thing. That's creepy. So what is in here? Huh. The bookshelves have been stripped bare. It's as if someone was clearing everything from the room. Enormous fish tank, tiny colorful fish. Candles are laid out on the table. The area seems to have been prepared for some a formidable ritual of some kind. And we got one of her skulls. It doesn't light the candle, but this doesn't seem to be the right way to go about it. Okay. I don't know where her invitation is. You can climb up here. What do you do? Why would we do that to the candle? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I don't know what to do here. So I think we gotta get the fetish, the charm, and get in here before Willow does. Here we go. Let's do it again. 